My name's Kwong Deng. Um, please call me Q. I work with the, the VA hospital. I am a um, specialist for equipment and software for the visually impaired veterans. Initially he came here to set up the, uh, the computer system and to get it up and running. And then I have him come and he answers more specific questions about the, the software. You know, when you're dealing with government, with the VA, it'd be nice to know where funding is going, how money is being appropriated. So if I ever have a question as to like how, how much money um, there's left in the budget or what kind of equipment we're all ordering, you know, it's nice just to go up and make that kind of request. I hadn't been really involved in politics uh, until recently and I kind of became inspired because I was watching the news and I heard about what was going on in uh, North Africa and how the people were using technology and the internet and, and basically changing their government. And right as I was thinking that, the HB 477 um, got passed, which was a piece of legislation they had passed to kind of shut down open government. And um, as a citizen, I just thought that was outrageous. And, you know, and I just thought to myself, if not this bill, then what? You know, what is gonna, what is it gonna take to get involved? And so I just, I just jumped in. So I went to one of the rallies and um, came involved with the network. And at that time, there was just a handful of people. Not only was I involved, at, you know, at, as the web content manager, I was also the Salt Lake County captain for volunteers. So we went out, we talked to people. I would be walking, you know, a park. And, and people would see, you know, the, the clipboard with the HB 477 referendum and they would approach me and say, I'm looking for someone with that, please let me sign. What happened after the repeal was the legislature said, well, you know, there's still some things that we ought to look at. Technology has changed in the past 20 years. And our, our job as Save Grandma is just to kind of watchdog that, to see what they are going to suggest for future changes, whether we think that's good or bad. My motivation, I'm just a concerned citizen. We already have the, probably the best government, you know, right now in the world. And if we don't maintain that or kind of tweak it for the better, it, eventually it's gonna deteriorate. Not just the state of Utah, but the whole entire country, you know, should be leaning in this direction. You know, the more transparent we are, the, the better off we are as a community, I think.